The video may contain spoilers. JK Rowling really isn't having her year and now she has also received death threats following the Salman Rushdie attack. Keanu Reeves has spoken up about what he did in support of his sister after her leukemia diagnosis and Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. celebrate their 20th anniversary. Want to know how? Stick around until the end of the video and we'll tell you about it. So let's start with JK Rowling receiving death threats following Salman Rushdie attack. Police have started an investigation. An online threat was sent to JK Rowling after she had sent out a tweet in support of Salman Rushdie after she was attacked in New York City. Rushdie had faced years of death threats after his novel The Satanic Verses was released, which is considered to be blasphemous by some Muslims. This led to Rushdie going into hideout for almost 10 years after the release of the novel in 1988. Rowling is one of the many who stood up in support of Rushdie, but officers have already been investigating online threats that were directed at Rowling after the author had voiced some controversial statements regarding gender issues. Warner Bros. released a statement in which they strongly condemn the threats against Rowling and they stand with all their storytellers, authors, and creators who have bravely voiced their opinions and creativity. But now, Rowling is again under threat. She tweeted a screenshot of the threat which read, quote, Don't worry, you're next. The text had been sent from an account in Pakistan, which has since been removed. Rowling expressed that she felt very sick at the news of the attack on Rushdie and hopes that he'll soon make his recovery. Rushdie has been taken off of a ventilator a day after he was stabbed by Hadi Matar and is able to talk again. Next up, Black Lightning star Charles B. Dean dies at 32 after a sudden illness. The sudden news of the death of 32-year-old actress Charles B. Dean comes as a lightning strike on a sunny day. Best known for her role as Cyanide in the CW show Black Lightning, an assassin with lethal combat skills and a bulletproof skin, but the up-and-coming actress also works on Blood in the Water an interview with God and Don't Sleep and was a successful model who starred in many campaigns. Her last Instagram post was only five days ago, a promotion for one of those campaigns. She looks stunning as always in a black and white shot wearing classic jeans and a corset top. Representatives for Dean's family have told TMZ that she died after an unexpected sudden illness in a hospital in New York City. The South African actress also starred in the upcoming movie Triangle of Sadness opposite Woody Harrelson. Triangle of Sadness tells the story of a cruise for the super rich that sinks, and thus leaves behind survivors, including a fashion model celebrity couple trapped together on an island, and Dean portrayed Yaya. This movie is scheduled to be released in the United States on the 7th of October, 2022. Following, Keanu Reeves has spoken up about his support he gave his sister after her leukemia diagnosis. Keanu Reeves has turned 58, and he's able to look at a legendary and prosperous career that he worked hard on to create. And while his on-camera accomplishments are always hailed, sometimes his incredible generosity stays behind in the shadow of Reeves' fame. Reeves may be worth at least $100 million, he's probably the only one in Hollywood who doesn't have an army of bodyguards or a mansion. And everyone knows that Reeves, though he has impact style when he wants to doesn't care especially much about fashion. So when his sister was diagnosed with leukemia, it only made sense to Reeves that do everything in his power to help not just her, but everyone who finds themselves in the same boat. He never officially attached his name to it, preferring to let the foundation do what it does best without his divine intervention, but Reeves set up a private foundation in support of others who struggle with leukemia. The foundation helps cancer research in a couple of children's hospitals. Reeves has had his share of unfortunate events, but despite everything, Reeves still knows how to find a way to be grateful for each day. All the projects he worked so hard on helped him through the darkest moments in his life, and he still works on finding more inner strength and wisdom. But hopefully, he'll look to the future with more optimism. Hold up, where do you think you're going? There's more to come. Sarah Michelle Gellar had a very original way to celebrate her 20th anniversary with husband, Freddie Prince Jr. Aren't you curious? Also, Kim Kardashian joined Ashton Kutcher on his new show, Our Future Selves, and Game of Thrones veteran Jack Gleason has married his girlfriend. Let's get things going again. First up, Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. celebrate 20th anniversary in the best way. With the news of yet another celebrity breakup filling our socials pretty much on a daily basis, and this isn't the timeline in which Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet staying together, it's understandable if you're losing faith in Happily Ever After. And though there is nothing wrong with relationships ending once they have run on their course, sometimes you just need a dose of true love. And this is one of those moments. So let's talk about how Sarah Michelle Gellar celebrates 
celebrated her 20 years with husband Freddie Prince Jr. for a bit. Because there's one person in the world who was absolutely certain that their love would not last, and that person is Howard Stern. Let us explain. Geller posted two beautiful pictures of her and her love on her Instagram stories. One that appears to be from their wedding day 20 years ago. And more recent one with a beautiful ocean sunset backdrop. But then you read the caption and you realize Geller must have been wringing her hands for this one for a very long time. Geller shared stills from an interview of Prince by Stern from when they were still engaged. Stern asked why Prince was marrying Geller despite knowing it won't last. To which Prince quickly replied that he was sure it would. Stern tried to beat Prince again in a second series, betting him Prince would come back in 10 years when he's a different man. Looks like Stern owes them money. Next up, Kim Kardashian joins Ashton Kutcher on his new show, Our Future Selves. Kim Kardashian is showing herself in the world that motivation is mostly lies. What's much more important is understanding what it is that drives you. Kardashian joined Ashton Kutcher on an episode of his new Peloton series, Our Future Selves, in which she serves a guest role. Peloton's VP and head instructor, Robin Arzone, shared a teaser on Instagram that showed that Kutcher was in awe when he realized that Kardashian actually showed up, exclaiming that she doesn't even run, at which Kardashian has no choice but to admit that she doesn't. Also present on hand to guide the two celebs during their workout was Arizon himself. Arizon was just as impressed with Kardashian as Kutcher, and he added that Kardashian was truly smashing and dismantling the idea that you have to stay in your own lane. And more importantly, Kardashian may have found the one thing that she had been missing in her own workout. Arizona also added that the episode featuring Kim Kardashian especially is for those who, just like Kardashian, don't think they're runners but have never truly given it a go. New episodes are released on a weekly basis and are dropping every Tuesday, right up until the forthcoming TCS New York City Marathon, which takes place on the 6th of November, 2022. And the happiest for last, Game of Thrones veteran Jack Gleason marries his girlfriend, Rosen O'Mahony, in Ireland. Who doesn't remember the infamous King Joffrey of Game of Thrones and how he celebrated when he found his end? But the actor who stood in his shoes, Jack Gleason, couldn't be a more humble down-to-earth person. And it shows how he decided to marry his girlfriend, Rosen O'Mahony. Father Patsy Lynch, the parish priest of Cary Island, was able to share some more details on Twitter. The wedding took place at the Sacred Heart Church in Glen, and Father Lynch called it a very simple, prayerful, and dignified marriage ceremony. O'Mahony had chosen to wear a pastel gown carrying a small bouquet of pink hydrangeas, with Gleason standing at her side in a simple green button-down and brown slacks. But this was just a pre-wedding. The real event, set to be held in England, Father Lynch told the Irish Independent, but this ceremony led by Father Lynch himself had a lovely relaxed atmosphere and he guessed it was the pure simplicity of it all that touched those who were present. And as for Gleason himself, Father Lynch confirmed that the actor is the polar opposite of the character he portrayed in the Game of Thrones. And that's all we've got for now. What do you think about these random people sending JK Rowling death threats? Whether they think it's funny or not, let us know in the comments what you think about it. And thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you next time.